What LG also has implemented using our camera is, for example, this Vein ID feature. Right. So you can lock onto the phone using right. your face, right. for example. Based on the infrared light we transmit, we can see the veins right. in your palm. Mm -hmm. And this is a very unique mm -hmm. um, approach to determine if it's you or someone else. Hi, this is Patrick from Tech The Lead, and we're here at Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2019. I'm so excited to be talking to Fern Buxbaum, the CEO and founder of PMD Technologies. Thank you for being here, Fern. Thank you. So first I want to talk to you about the exciting announcement yesterday, which was LG's new smartphone, the G8 Thin Q, that right. has your technology in it. Right. Can you speak more about what your technology is and what's doing that camera? That sure, phone? sure, I can do that. So what PMD developed together with our partner Infineon is a 3D camera, and it's a very special 3D camera. It's a 3D time of flight camera. So what you know so far are structured light cameras used, for example, by Apple in the Apple iPhone 10 for Face ID. Uh, and we use a different principle. So time of flight means that we have built a camera that transmits light pulses, okay. and based on the re reflection that comes back from the scene, we can then measure the distance in every single pixel. So talking about this time of flight technology, when we compare it to, as you say, the structural light technology within Apple products, what is the difference in terms of security, speed, reliability? Yeah, I mean, truth be told, the Apple camera is a good camera. Yeah. No question about that. It's a very good product. Um, we see the most advantage of time of flight um, in the sense that you can build the system, as I said, very, very small and very, very cheap. So um, in production, what is very critical is when you build up a camera to calibrate the camera. And if you calibrate a structured light camera, for example, um, the distance between the emitter and the receiver is very critical because this is the measure that you use to measure the distance. Um, with time of flight, it's different. So the measure is inside the electronics, which makes it much, much easier to calibrate the whole system. And again, it's very robust, for example, against sunlight. So that's another big advantage. Gotcha. So I see that you have a little demo here. Is this the time of flight camera system that you have? Yeah, ex uh, exactly. So this is a, the front-facing module that is integrated in the LG G8. We also have modules for the other side of the phone, because okay. in upcoming forms from other OEMs, we also will use uh, our technology on the world-facing side, for example, to do applications like augmented reality, right. uh, scanning, things like that. Basically, the technology is the same if you use it for user-facing one or two meters distance or world-facing five or maybe eight meters distance. The only thing that really changes is the illuminator, so we use a little bit more optical power if we measure to higher distances. But this is the actual module that is integrated in the LG G8. Got you. Wow, this is really tiny. That is, yeah. Really, really tiny. Right. So when talking about PNB's technology, the time of flight technology, yeah. we want it to be secure. We don't want our face to be spoofed in any way. True. So how reliable is this technology when it comes to security? Yeah, so I mean, the face ID is a pretty reliable yeah. method uh, to do authentication. Truth be told, um, if you do really big financial transactions, yeah. I think there will be a two-way authentication in the future. What LG also has implemented using our camera is, for example, this Vein ID feature. Right. So you can lock onto the phone using right. your face, right. for example. Based on the infrared light we transmit, we can see the veins right. in your palm. And this is a very unique um, approach to determine if it's you or someone else. Gotcha, yeah. One in one billion, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy, yeah. yeah. So I do know that LG has other features that use your technology. Right. Certainly the air motion where you can control, depth sensing generally that's used in photography. Right. Um, can you speak more to those? Yeah, sure. So um, as you said, um, you can also use the 3D camera to control your phone. Yeah. So they have implemented this air gesture, which is like a gesture control for some of the apps. So you can, for example, pop up the, the, the music. You can change the volume of the music by simple gestures. Um, the other thing is, for example, in uh, the photography, you can, you can add a bokeh effect to the background. So if you want to make a nice portrait photo, you can make the background a little bit more blurry, or you can um, integrate uh, additional virtual light sources yeah. to illuminate the scene virtually right. and make the image even more 
interesting. Right. So there are a lot of additional features based on the Face ID feature that is in the in the foreground, right. but the other features are also very good as, as well. Yeah, it seems like your 3D depth sensing time of flight technology really has applications beyond what's imaginable. Which, True. what do you think is the roadmap for the technology? Where do you think your product is going to next? Well, I mean, technology-wise, uh, we are an image sensor technology. Okay. So, first of all, pixels need to be shrinked. Mm -hmm. We need more resolution. Um, and uh, it's good that, that we speak today because we made an announcement today mm -hmm. that we uh, launch a new chip product which has a resolution of half VGA, which is approximately 150,000 pixels. For example, the device that we use in the LG G8 has only uh, 38,000 pixels, oh, wow. which is sufficient for the applications, right. but now we have approximately four times resolution. Right. So that's the natural way to optimize an image sensor technology. Right. Shrink pixels, higher resolution, right. so, so this is what we do. Application-wise, I think the next step will be to integrate time-of-flight cameras on the world-facing side of the phones to do some augmented reality right. things. It could be gaming, it could be other things where you add in interesting content to the real world. Right. Um, and then, of course, beyond mobile, there are other applications in automotive, uh, smart home. Um, we are shipping products in the industrial and robotic space since more than wow. 10 years already. Okay, yeah. so, Time of flight is extremely scalable. Mm -hmm. That's a huge advantage yeah. compared to, for example, stereo or structured light. Yeah. You can adapt the technology perfectly to the needs that you have in a specific application. That's that's really a good thing. Other than the LG smartphone, is the time of flight to put in any other products? Yes, sure. So we launched the first product actually in 2005, uh, which was a very easy, simple laser rangefinder having only one single pixel. And the funny thing is, it's still running. It's a product that is very successful and it's still on the market. One of the de designers we have is uh, with a company called Byton. Okay. So they will use our technology. We have a press release this week here in Barcelona. Um, we have another designer with, with a German OEM. We cannot disclose the name today, but it will be on the market next year as well. It looks like PMB Technologies is truly scalable for the future and for the now, especially in these new LG smartphones. Right. So I'm really looking forward to what PMB Time of Flight technology has to offer. So you're watching Tech to Lead, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, click that bell for notifications.